Hello once again everyone, Vanguard of Valor here, and welcome aboard the VSS Treason, with Brutus, Judas, Guy Fox, Saruman, and Jack the Ripper. Now, we are, ob uh, we are obviously on board the Kestrel Class B, and we're going to wreak havoc across the galaxy in our rebel disguise. So, let's jump right in. We made it to Sector 4, we're doing pretty well all told. We've got a full, <laughs> full hold full of powerful weapons we have not yet been able to equip. These in particular will be very nice since we get them back both online. However, we've got a full arsenal of other gear sitting around in here before we can get that on the move. We might not even need to use both of them, but it's hard to get rid of them because having both of it online would be so much fun. The ability to fire 10 lasers is nothing to be sneezed at. So let's jump to the store. Alrighty. Let's see here. The store offers us some crew, which would be pretty nice. Some basic systems, some more general upgrades. Let's sell them our burst laser, or basic laser rather, and fire beam, because we're not going to be using that either. That'll let us repair our hull, buy some more fuel. Um, you want to buy more fuel? Yeah, let's buy more fuel. Hard to say no to the fuel, because you will need it at some point. And maybe upgrade some systems. Hmm, I guess this is worthwhile. This will the fifth level of our engines is the last one that gives us 5% extra dodge. So let's take that and power it. And now, we don't need to upgrade our engines anymore. We should be able to resort to just powering up our weapon systems, powering up our shields, and all that kind of good stuff. So, let's jump. We can jump into the nebula and get a couple extra jumps over here, but there's nowhere really to go. So we're just going to jump right over this way and head along this edge. And hopefully that'll be definitely worthwhile. We arrive at a populated sector. One merchant seems to be mass broadcasting a request for a mercenary ship to aid him. Shall we respond? <laughs> Why, of course we will. Hello there. Great, he says. I was worried no one would respond. My usual carrier is days late. I need you to discover this cargo of drone parts once again. You'd think he'd have learned after the last time. But sure, let's accept his offer. He offers us five drone parts and begs us to do as he asked. But we're heading over that way anyway, so there's no problem helping him out. So let's jump over this distress beacon and see what we can see. Hello there. Ooh, this located as a source of distress call, a nearby human mining colony, with an unknown dis disease virulently spread among the workers. They're trying to set up a quarantine to mitigate the spread of the disease, but lack any enforcement, and a riot seems likely. I'd love to help, but this one I have bad luck with. This event seems to kill my crew, like, four times out of five, so I'm going to have to ignore their request and move on. Unfortunately, as they say, our mission is much too important, and we're not willing to risk our crew. So let's jump one jump, and then the quest, and then we'll work our way out. So let's jump over here. Magnificent. Ah, slavers again. <laughs> they hail us offering laborers for cheap. Not cheap enough for our prices anyway, but we're not going to let that stand. Let's attack the slaver scum. Let's blast them with some lasers, and hopefully we'll be able to take down their big shield by the time our ion bomb comes back online. Which will mean... Oh, no, that's not good. We'll be missing, guys. Hit them. Hit them in the face. We've got a halberd beam from the looks of it, and a normal one-shot laser. So they can't hurt us. Nothing they do will hurt. We can take them out at our leisure. So let's ion bomb their shields out. Hopefully that's a hit. Yes, it is. Two more hits with the lasers. Let's hit them. We don't even need to hit the weapons. Leave the weapons alone. <laughs> they can't hurt us with weapons. Hit them in the helm. Hit them in the oxygen, yes. Hit them in the engines for fun. And turn off the ion bomb, because we shouldn't need it. We might, but we shouldn't. I guess I should probably still be shooting the shields again, though, really. Oh well. That's okay. Oh, they offer us another slave as tribute! I claim if we destroy them, they'll all die anyway. Well, another another Mantis would be great for fighting off borders, and NG would be great for doing repairs. Let's accept that offer. We got an NG! Fantastic! Now we have someone to do repairs on board this ship. Well done, crew. Magni, you have a terrible name for my, my crew. <laughs> you, there's no way of fitting that in. Alright, whatever. Welcome aboard, Magni. You've been saved by the VSS Treason, so who knows how well that's going to go for you. But let's keep moving. Jump to the quest beacon. We have a very, very lucky amount of good things happening to us here. We arrive at a location giving, given, giving to us? Given to us by the merchant. We're supposed to deliver drone parts to a station here, they say. We find the small research station and discover that it's putting out a distress signal. 
Strangely, there's no response to our hails. Oh, this is dangerous. Let's dock with the station and investigate. Oh no! As we explore the base, crazed screams are heard. Your team retreats back onto our ship with a number of armed scientists in pursuit. One of our teams starts to cough and falls in a spasm on the floor. Let's drag them back to the ship and prepare for a fight. As you get back on board, our injured friend rises up and starts to attack us, screaming! Caught off guard, our remaining crew fall back as the other scientists fight their way on board. Who died? Who died? No! No, you fell too soon, Judas! No, that's terrible. Okay. Mantis, get over there. Murder some people. Kill them. That was bad luck. I walked right into it, though, after saying, you know, I don't want to do anything because it's going to be dangerous. A lot of people die and it'll be bad. I walk right into it and people die and it was bad. Oh, that's unfortunate. Unfortunate indeed. Alright, well, these guys should have no problem clearing these guys out, but poor Judas. He didn't deserve that. Alright, Mantises, kill that unsuspecting stinker. Okay, man, that sucks. Thankfully, we've got a new engineer to replace him, but that's not as good as having the old guy. Oh, uh, well, that's what I get for my curiosity, I suppose. Brutus, back in the helm. Jack, back in your station. Saruman, back in your station. Uh, it's a sad day for the VSS Treason. One of our treasonous members is gone forever. And that's what we get for pressing our luck, I guess. Moving onwards. An unidentified ship is badly damaged and still being assaulted by a space pirate. The victim begins a distress message until the pirate cuts in and offers to split the bounty if we wait. Offering two fuel, two missiles, and twenty-one scrap. Well, that's hardly enough. So let's attack them. The pirate ship stops pursuit and locks weapons on us. Given that if we save them, we'll get the scrap for destroying these guys and the reward from the people we save. Unless, of course, they happen to have booked it by then, but that's a risk we'll just have to take. Of course, they have three shields now, so our ion bomb is going to be vital in doing any damage here. So let's hit them with the ion bomb and rapidly hit them three shots right in the weapons. Not the most strategic of attacks, but I want to take that rocket... Oh, the Hell Missile stayed online, unfortunately. Hopefully our 39% of aid will be enough to get out of the way. Don't let it hit us, guys. Don't let it hit. Oh, that's a big hit. Ouch. Alright, NG, get in there. Fix that right now. Fox, I can't have you be dying. All of our weapons are offline. That's not good. Thankfully, their weapons are also offline. But we're in a bit of trouble here. Okay, reactivate these systems. Their shields are back online, but that's okay because our ion bomb is now charging again. Unfortunately, shortly, their rockets will also be charging again. Alright. Get these systems online, guys, right now. You get back in there. Fox, you're gonna have to get in the med bay for the month. Oh no! I'm an idiot! I forgot that Fox was charging that system. Alright, that's bad. Now we're gonna take a hit for sure. That was a stupid move on my part. I forgot he was vital in actually charging that system. Alright. A foolish mistake, but I'll have to deal with the consequences. Alright guys, here comes another missile. Hopefully this one misses. It does not! Our oxygen is now damaged. Alright, take out their crew, take out their weapons. Hit- no, hang on. Oh, that was stupid. What a waste. Oh well. I guess it wasn't really a waste. We can vent the oxygen out here and put that out, but that means we're going to have no oxygen in that room, and no more will be forthcoming. Let's hit them hard and make them regret what they've done. Make them regret everything they've ever done. Weapons are offline, shields are damaged. There, Zoltan is now dead. Oxygen is out, and out of oxygen in the room. Angie's going to go fix it. They're trying to bribe us with three fuel, five missiles, and twenty scrap, but we do not want their bribe. We want them dead. And down they go. As a result, we get 48 scrap, much more enjoyable. Uh, examining the ship we saved, we find that they are all dead. A hull breach deprived the crew of oxygen, and we salvage what little scrap we can. It's a sad day, but a fairly profitable one. Thankfully, engineers are great for this kind of job, repairing things in dangerous conditions. So he repairs that, heals up, and then gets back to his station. He's not doing the greatest at doing our shields, but he's doing pretty good at fixing damages. Alright. Well, hopefully he'll be better by the time we get near the end. We're up to 98 scrap now, so we do have the ability to buy more things, but honestly I'm not sure what else we would buy. At this stage, we could activate the Ion Bomb and the Burst Laser Mark III simultaneously, which would give us the ability to turn off shields and then punch some real serious damage in. 
But that's only two lasers more than with our basic laser. I'm not entirely sure, that's worth the time. Especially not against systems where we can hit them more if they have less than three shields. Hmm. For the moment, we'll leave it be, but soon we'll probably be resorting to that new, uh, that new system. We're going to do one jump here, and we'll hopefully be able to jump across this way. So let's jump! Let us jump. Hello, folks. Our arrival is greeted by numerous computer alerts. The nearby Rebel Automated Scout has deployed a virus and disrupted our shields. Well, we can't have that. Ooh, that is quite the disruption, too. Took out three bars, disabling two shield bubbles. We are going to take some hits in this fight. Boy, are we ever. And they have big weapons, too. These guys are not playing around. Alright, this is going to hurt. This is going to hurt, and he takes a direct hit to the face. However, hopefully we'll be able to... No, that takes a 20 second charge. They're going to hit us in a second. Let us punch those weapon systems right now. Hit them, hit them, hit them. And we only took one shot from that laser. Not bad. Could have been worse. Thankfully, our advanced reload speed allowed us to do the damage before they could hit us. Now, we need to hit them harder. We need to turn off our ion bomb, I think. Can we even afford to turn off the ion bomb? Let's hit them again anyway, just for good, good measure. We hit. Oh, that rocket missed, thankfully. Good, good. Their shields are still blocked. The basic lasers should turn off all of their weapons now. Very good. You get back on your station, although we don't really need you there. Now we're going to hit them where it hurts, i.e. everywhere. Close these doors. No, not that opening that door. Close those doors. And they should kill them. Oh, no, we missed two of our shots because we have the worst aim. I forgot about our fact the fact that every ship that we have has the worst aim. Ugh. All right, hit them. There we go. That's more like it. Three for three, and down they go. We gather two fuel, a drone part, and 27 scrap from those suckers. Alright. You should probably go heal up. You're doing okay, everyone else is doing okay. Could be better, but could definitely be much, much worse. We have a store there we can jump to. I don't, we have definitely enough time to go 1, 2, 3, 4, if not even... No, I think 4 is probably the limit, but that'll be good. Oh, an asteroid field. Good thing they have no shields, and we have three. Poor rebel, 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 poor rebel automated scouts. You have no idea what's about to hit you, do you? I don't even have to use my ion bomb against you. I can just shoot you a couple times in the weapons and it should kill you, because those asteroids are going to do half the work. What just happened? We, it sounds like we just... Oh, they took a hole in the ship. Where's that rocket even going? I don't know. Oh, there it goes. Don't hit me, please. Oh, good. It was a miss. And they should go down any second now. One more hit from any asteroid should kill them. So I should hit them with at least one of these three rockets. Lasers, rockets, I'm not talking about. But down they go nonetheless. We took no damage. We gathered two fuel, a missile, and 39 scrap. Very, very nice. We really do need to start working on upgrading those weapons, though, because we are going to be hard-pressed to fight if we don't. Another asteroid field? Hello. A pirate ship was lying in wait. They move in to attack. Alright, let's turn and fight them. These guys we can use our ion bombs against to really mess with. It looks like they'll be able to get through our shields and then hit us with their halberd beam, or whatever you call that thing. I think it's called hull laser? Hull beam? I don't know. But for the meantime, let's just punch them in the shields, punch them in the weapons, and then recharge them again. Because we want to turn off that big laser if we can. Oh, this is going to hurt. This is going to hurt in a second. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Oh, good. Shields came back online just before they hit us. Okay, you go recharge those oxygen systems. And it looks like we missed with our ion bomb, unfortunately. So that's going to be a little bit of a pain in the butt. Also, we have no one manning our shields now, so that could be bad. And they will recharge much slower. Get back on those systems. Get our defenses back online right now, please. Oh, just in time. We also hit them with our... Ion bomb, excuse me there, I forgot what the word I was trying to use. Hit them in the weapons. Oh, we took a hit in the weapons as well. We're going to take more hits here, this is bad. However, so are they, since their shields are completely down and ours are only marginally damaged. Also, our Zoltan is dying, so he's going to get out of that room. And they want to surrender, offering us two fuel, drone part, and 21 scrap. However, that's not enough, since we are well placed to kill them now. We're going to put those fires out, repair the damage, hopefully kill them with our next little blast. They can't hurt us too much at this stage, and our next laser pulse should kill them. Well, not kill them, but should kill at least one of them and make it easy for us to kill the other. Back on your stations, gentlemen. Thank you for your excellent service. And kill these suckers. Down they go. 
before even we have to hit them. Asteroids took them out for us. We gather three fuel, a drone part, and 36 scrap. Very nice. Now we do have time to go to the store, which is good, because we will need to repair some of that damage we just took. We took quite a bit there from having that pummeling against our shields. There's only one other ship at the, be the beacon, and it is also trying to repair crippled damage. Well, that's alright. Let's see what they have. Stealth weapons and an FTL recharge booster? Those are terrible. Terrible. We could get cloaking. <laughs> that would make us pretty absurdly powerful. But it's hard to say, actually, what I want here. Lots of interesting things for sale. Let's see. We could buy two more levels of system power, leveling up two more power bars as well, because that would cost us about 200. Then we could activate a... turn off two of these and have Ion Bomb, Basic Laser, and Mark IV, or Mark III Burst Laser. That would be pretty powerful weaponry. We could buy the uh, cloaking system, which would make us a lot harder to hurt, or we could buy some repairs. <laughs> it's hard to say, really, what's the best option here. It really is. It's hard to say. We could sell one of our burst lasers. We're probably not going to want to keep two. And that would give us the money to do repairs and get the stealth system. Hmm. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Wrong button. Store. The cloaking would be fantastic. And stealth weapons would even be really cool, too, with that. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll get cloaking and stealth weapons, just for fun. Just for fun. Although, nah, then we need to sell. We definitely need to sell something so we can do some repairs. It's a tricky situation. Let's see here. Let's repair those doors, anyway. Don't want to have that damage sticking around. Is there anything worth selling? Like we, we, these are valuable weapons, though. They're really powerful. They cost about 110 to buy. Very hard to, to justify selling. Uh, especially because they'd be so powerful together. Then again, having the ion bombs in combination with the burst lasers is probably better. If we could have something else in our other slot, it would give us three other slots to power other weapons. Maybe we'll do that. We'll sell one of our burst laser threes. We'll buy stealth weapons and stealth uh, everything. <laughs> and we'll upgrade our... we'll repair our damage. That sounds like a pretty solid combination to me. It'll be sad watching that f that second stealth weapon... or uh, second uh, burst laser 3 go, but I think it'll be worthwhile in the end. So let's sell this. Oh! <laughs> okay, that was, that was a hard, hard thing to do. Buy cloaking. Buy stealth weapons. Buy repairs. All repairs? Hmm, yeah, all repairs. It'll take us a little while now to be able to use our uh, stealth to its full potential, but the fact that we have it online makes us a force to be really reckoned with. Alright. Fantastic. Fantastic indeed. Okay, now we're now we should be really rocking. Stealth weapons, pile more of these, we can soon We'll have to, well, we won't be able to do it yet, but soon we'll have to work on getting our big laser active, and that'll be extra fun. Alright, let's make our way to the exit. Sorry for that long dilemma there, guys, but it's hard to decide what to do when you have so many nice things. <laughs> Scans reveal a large asteroid field near the FTL beacon. We can explore it, or we can leave. Let's explore it and see what we find, which is probably going to be damaged, but you know what, that's okay. Hello? Ooh! We happen upon an abandoned mining site, with a few mining drones left behind, which can be repurposed, giving us a drone part and 30 scrap. Very nice. Definitely better than a kick in the pants. Alright. Let's buy another power bar, and repower our engines again. Back to 45% of aid, which is hard to say no to. We also have three max level crew. Looking good, guys. Looking good. Alright. Well, let's jump out of here and see what there is to see. Mantis controlled sectors or the rock home worlds. As much as I'd like to go to the rock home worlds, I already have the rock ship, so it's not super desirable, and I'd like to have the option of two places to go next time. So let's go to the mantis controlled sector and see what they have to offer. Here we go. Alright, we entered a poorly charted area of space where live the mantis. We have our hull plating maxed out, and we have plenty of fuel and weapons to deal with whatever we might find. However, before we do, let me quickly check our time. Well, we're getting low on time, but I'd say we definitely have enough time to do a couple more jumps. 
Maybe two or three. I hate to cut it off quite so early. Let's see what we have to find here at the start of our Mantis Sector. Let's jump... here. Jump to the nice close spot and see what they have to offer. Oh, not so good. A flurry of laser fire glances by the port windows and the Mantis are upon us. With a big Mantis bomber. They're going to be jumping two Mantis onto our ship. Ah, they have three shields. This, this might hurt. Hopefully they... No, they did not pick a bad room to jump into. Get over there. You get out of the engines and jump over to support. They're going to be hurting Brutus quite badly very quickly. So he's going to need to get some backup in there in a second. Their weapons are going to be firing shortly. We're going to be dodging this thing with our cloak. And everything should be okay. Mm, Brutus, you're going to the med bay. Get in there to help out. Alright, these guys are well-trained fighters. Even our uh, mantises aren't taking too well to this fight. Okay, the ion bomb is just about charged up, so we'll be able to hit their shields momentarily. Yes, indeed. Our mantis is going to have to book it, yeah. We do not want to be having no one in the helm at any time in this fight, though. Hopefully that fires now, so I can dodge it. Good. Dodge that. Excellent. And now I can run. And as I run, we're going to dump the oxygen out of these rooms. Dump it. Excellent. Okay. Now, we've hit them, so we need to do some damage now. Let's turn off those shields completely, please. There we go. Do some damage to the shield system. They are a little bit unhappy about the fact that I'm suffocating them out. Which they should be. We're down to 6% evade. That's not so good. Let's close that room off again. Oops, I shouldn't have wasted that. Ion Bomb, you turn off. The lasers should be able to do more than enough to that. Next off, we're going to hit them in the weapons twice and once in the oxygen. And that should make them regret everything they've ever done. Brutus, you're going to head back over to your room. Saruman, you're heading over to the engines again to give us more evasion. Jack, you're heading back to your position. We should be ready to go. Make them regret what they've done, boys. Alright. Let's hit them... Let's take one of these off weapons, hit it in the shields again, make them regret all clumping together. There we go. Do some more damage. They are out of oxygen, their weapons are down. The big weapons are no longer a threat. We can focus on pummeling them in the shield system while they're all clumped together. If they stay clumped together there, we should be able to do some serious damage, as long as that kind of thing doesn't happen. But they are down one mantis now, so that's pretty good. Hard to complain. That's going to be back up to three in a second. Might as well try one more hit for that for free. And let's ion bomb them in the shields while we have the chance. Now our next shot should kill at least that engineer, if not both of the remaining crew. No, oh, well, unfortunately they got lucky, and instead of being able to pillage their ship with their crew dead, they get to wait and have me destroy them entirely. Ah well. The ship explodes, leaving behind two fuel, a drone part, and 35 scrap. Well, we'll take it. Not bad, considering we took no damage in that fight. Now, what are we going to do, though? Let's upgrade our cloaking system. Having extra cloak is always enjoyable. We'll take some out of the engines to power it for the moment, and we'll power the engines back up momentarily. Once we get a little bit more money in our hands. Let's work our way over this way, so we'll head over here. Hello, Blue Planet! The rebel ship hails. Well, you didn't fight a war to let a single Federation ship shatter our dreams? Well, I didn't run this far to let you stop me. Are you going to beam on board? Pick a bad room. You picked a bad room. Well done, boys. Now you get murdered. And I hardly have to work at it at all. You have the exact same weapon layout as the previous ship I fought, too. That's weird. Strange coincidence. They're still trying to run, so you know what? I'm going to send this door open in advance. It's going to be <laughs> losing oxygen before you even get in. Alright. Their weapons are powering up. That's okay. We are going to dodge them in a second. In fact, we're going to dodge them as soon as they fire. Did we miss them? It looks like we missed them. Alright, dodge that. 100% dodge chance. Very nice. Nothing they can do. We also, however, also can't do anything. We also, however, also? That was terrible English. Jack can easily kill these poor fools. And I can close those doors. Oops. To stop the oxygen. There we go. Now hopefully... Oh, why am I... Why am I... Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm ion bombing their teleporter. <laughs> Why am I bombing the teleporter? That's two bombs I just wasted. Okay. Hopefully I'm not that stupid this time. Or ever again. That was terrible. Alright. 
Never again, folks. Never again. Now we hit them in the shields like we were supposed to. I was wondering why that didn't work. Alright, this is gonna hurt. Well, we took one damage. I guess it hurt, but not a whole lot. We have another cloak online, so that shouldn't be a problem now. We should be able to take those shields out officially, or rather legitimately now. They're gonna fire their big blasts in a second, but that's okay because we have a fully charged stealth to dodge out of the way. Like so. They have their shields back online, so we're gonna ion bomb them. Taking them completely offline. And we are missing like crazy, so let's hit them in the helm twice. Hopefully that should help it make it a little bit easier. There we go, hit them in the helm once, that's better than nothing. We'll do it again. Oh no! Oh, what a waste. I have to forget that I have my ion my ion bomb on auto fire. That's four bombs I've wasted against this ship. They offer us three missiles, a drone part, and 26 scrap, but that's a terrible offer, so we're going to murder them for it. They've left the helm. Excellent. Excellent. That means we can murder them with even easier times. Hit them entirely in the shields. Make them regret everything they have ever done. They're going to hit us in a second, but thankfully almost all of those missed. Well done, Dodgers. Now one more sh shot should take them down. Like so. Alright, the ship explodes, leaving us two fuel, a drone part, and 29 scrap. Not great. That that offer they made might have been better, but it's hard to really complain. We did pretty good there. Alright, guys. We're doing good. We're doing good. This is, uh, this is dangerous business, though. I don't want to be wasting my bombs. I'm going to need those. I will definitely need them. Let's try jumping over here and see if we can't connect up this way. Let's see. I've, said, I've mentioned this before in the comments. I actually like having to navigate through space, having the risk of not being able to make my jumps. The fact that there is danger there makes it a little bit more uh, realistic, it seems to me. If it was an upgrade for, like, maybe level 3 piloting, or level... Yeah, level 3 piloting would probably make the most sense, because there's no reason to buy level 3 piloting. But if level 3 piloting gave you the ability to see nodes further up ahead, that would be cool, and I would probably use it more often. But as an option that I can just turn on, it seems too too powerful for a free thing like that. So I'm not really keen to use it. But hey, I guess people are welcome to do whatever they feel. Is the most enjoyable way for them. Mantis Vessel... Vessel? Vessel? Vessel flashes past our view screen, weapons, and engines at full. A tiny blip on the sensor readout marks its quarry. Let's aid that civilian ship. And that's the worst speaking I think I've done all day. We frown, power up weapons, and engage that Mantis ship. Why did our music stop? There it is. That was strange. They don't, I don't think they can hurt us at all, honestly. They're welcome to try, but I don't think they can. They're going to hit us twice and miss both times. Their laser is going to do literally nothing. We're going to turn off our bombs so we don't start wasting it again. So we're just going to pummel them, and hopefully that will be good. Since they can't actually... Oh, good! Their command room is now on fire. That's good stuff. Let's go invisible just for fun. We have stealth weapons, so we can fire freely without actually wasting any of our stealth charge. Uh, it is, in fact, that that stealth weapons does. A lot of people think that stealth weapons means you can fire your stealth without stealth turning off. That's not actually what the system does. Having stealth weapons means that you can actually use your stealth weapons without depleting your stealth bar. Similar, but not quite the same as what people suspect. Alright, they're in trouble. <laughs> Their med bay is on fire. They need health. So if we can do some more damage to them, there's nothing they can do about it. This should actually kill them if both all these shots hit. Which they do! Surprisingly enough, my crew have been doing quite good aiming. The Mantis ship breaks apart, giving us a missile, a drone part, and 34 scrap. And contacting the civilian ship gets us... Ooh. The ship the pirate was assaulting was a science vessel. They thank us for saving them and offer us a missile, a drone part, and 30 scrap as well. Thank you very much, guys. Very much appreciated. So let's upgrade our cloaking to full and get that system all powered up once the timer has ticked over, because having full cloaking is a lot of fun. And we can jump on ahead. We can work our way over there in a minute. I'm not going to go straight to the distress signal. Let's see what's over here first. All right, a rebel automated scout floating nearby the beacon. Despite its pristine condition, it appears to be deactivated. It honestly looks like it has no weapons, except for one here, which doesn't look that strong. It also has no shields. There's no reason to not attempt to download the ship's data stores. We have to fight it? Oh no! Oh, it actually has some bombs. Okay, it has some weapons. 
But I'm not afraid because we have a lot of cloak. We have big lasers. Well, not big lasers, but lots of lasers. So we should be able to take them down without any real risk. Even if they do try and fire, we can just go invisible. Alright, that's one of their bombs offline. The other one should come online momentarily, but you know what? We're just going to cloak out of the way and it won't be able to do anything to us. Cloaked. Hopefully you missed. I oh, I think I actually broke it before I managed to fire. <laughs> Never saw the bomb move. Alright, hit him again one more time. Do some more damage. There we go. Next salvo will kill them, and it might even be able to fire before they can even see us again. Uh, not quite. They get to see us. But we do kill them without any risk at all. We gather a missile, or two missiles, a fuel, and 32 scrap from that poor sucker. A very nice reward. That gives us the power to re-energize our engines. Re-energize our engines? That's whatever. Sounds funny to me, but that's okay. Everyone looks like they're doing healthy. Nope, oh, Brutus took a little bit of damage. Let's jump him over to the med bay while we're waiting for our shield to tick back down. It's always dangerous when you have big shields like that to jump ahead without having them powered, because if you're relying on them and they don't have the energy you expect they do, you can be in trouble when you get there. How is he doing for taking on the shield energy? He's not doing too good, honestly. He's still only at halfway up the first level. But I guess that's okay, given how much our evasion is and how our other systems are doing. Alright, hello there. We arrive at the, distra the distress call of a civilian ship, who appears to be a Federation ship. Their FTL has gone haywire. Let's lead them to their destination. They give us 28 scrap. That's definitely worthwhile. Oh, they want to go over there? I guess that's one, two, three, four, five jumps. I don't think we have enough time for that. We could probably do one, two, no, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, no. <laughs> one, two, three. No, I don't think we can do that. I don't think we can do it fast enough. Um, because it's they're going to take. Let's see. It's probably going to take one, two, three, four. Yeah, no, five jumps, and they're going to be on top of us. So it's probably one, two, three, four, five, and they'll be here already by then. We might be able to make it to here, but it's going to be really close. Should we risk it? Let's go. Wait, if we go one, one, two, three. Or, no, there's no, there's no way to do it safely. But let's do it anyway. <laughs> oh, I have a bad feeling about this. A derelict and still smoking Mantis vessel floats by. Battle must have been recent for its surviving crew beam aboard, and that's the worst event ever. Alright, let's suffocate these suckers and then get ready to fight them in the rooms they're gonna run to. Let's get over here. Let's bother them while they're trying to break our doors down, get our mantises where they need to be. They're trying to run over this way now. That's no good. We can't have that. Let's start flooding the oxygen out of this side, too. Just to make things extra fun. Alright, guys. I hope you're ready to have a nice fight. Oh, you're trying to go that way? We can't have that. He's going to get murdered in a split second here. So given there's two mantis in that room already. They're trying to run. That's okay. I can drain their oxygen from this side, too. There's going to be no oxygen left on board this ship in a minute. Why are you trying to get back through there, guys? There's a room right over there you could go to. <laughs> and where are they going? Well, they've suffocated, so I don't know where they were trying to go, but it sure didn't make sense to me. Let's close all the doors at once, thank you. <laughs> that was a easy fight. I think that's the best way to describe it. Saruman, back in the engines. Jack, you can hang out there for a bit. I guess we'll have to wait a couple of minutes now for our oxygen to come back. We could jump on straight ahead, but I'd hate to have a bad situation and thus have no oxygen on board our ship still. That would not be too wise. I guess I guess it's manageable. As long as they don't damage our oxygen system directly. Is there anything we should upgrade? No, we, we should start upgrading these. Maybe upgrading our doors, but for now I think we should just stick play safe. And by play safe I mean not wait for our oxygen to refill and just jump blindly ahead to our quest location. Hello guys, are you trying to murder us? Nope, the ship we were escorting thanks us. I don't think we could have made it without our help, they say. Let my friends patch up some of your hull and show you their wares. Well, uh, thanks, guys, but... Oh, I guess I guess that automated reloader is worthwhile. I was about to say, I don't really need anything from you, but I'd take that. An automated reloader gives us faster firing times again, and that's never a bad thing. Buy some more fuel as well. Okay, I wasn't planning on spending my money like that, but that's a decent reward. Of course, now we run the risk of not being able to get out with it alive, but I guess that's what we just have to put up with. Alright, more intruders on deck. 
Ugh. We arrived just in time to see an unusually well-armed NG ship destroying a small pirate craft and a teleporter signals. Oh, this is this event. Uh -huh. A young mantis in a charred uniform is teleported onto the deck. He begs for sanctuary from the NG and offers to serve in exchange for our protection. The NG have already traced the teleporter signal and are offering a deal in exchange for the prisoner. We can side with the fugitive and fight the NG, or we can offer up the mantis in exchange for a bounty. I don't honestly know. I think I'd rather have money than another N another mantis at this point. But, it's, even then, it's hard to say. Mantis are good crew members. And either of these have an equal chance of having bad things happen to you. But, I kind of want money more at the moment, so let's offer him up for a bounty and see what happens. Fury sparks in the eyes of the mantis. He won't go easily and causes serious damage before he can be captured. We get 58 scrap, but no one died. So I'll take 4 damage points in exchange for 58 scrap. That definitely pays for itself. Definitely does. And we're nearing the You're an Idiot event horizon, where I won't be able to get to the exit without having to fight super powerful rebels. But, you know what? That's a price I'm willing to pay. Oh, I can't sell missiles, guy! There's a black market hub here offering us money for missiles, but we don't have enough missiles to sell them, so we're gonna ignore these people, unfortunately. And now, fight the risks. Now, this is gonna be bad. We might even be able to cloak and get most of the way out. Oh, man, this is going to be bad. We found the exit beacon, but the rebels got here first. We must survive long enough to be able to jump to the next sector. How well armed are they? Oh, they have exactly what I was talking about. That's the Super Mega Burst Cannon Super Death Lasers. <laughs> That's a terrible way of... S I can't even say words. But you know what? I can just hide and then cloak when they try to shoot me and then fly away, no problem. Like so. Shoot me. I'm invisible. 105% evade. <laughs> nice try, guys. Nice try. And I get to jump away free of harm. I guess that's probably the best possible outcome here. Let's jump out. NG Homeworlds, Mantis Controlled Sector, NG Homeworlds. Definitely going there. Alright, we've arrived in NG Space. The fall of the Federation has been tough for these robotic lifeforms, but we're going to take as much as we can from them. Now let me quickly check our time for this video. And like the fool I am, I forgot how long this has been going for. <laughs> this is a bit of an extra long episode, folks. I hope you like it. Well, that is it for now. This has been Vanguard of Valor on board the VSS Treason, with Brutus, Fox, and Saruman of our original traitors still alive. If you've liked the episode, don't forget to like the episode. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye bye <laughs>